All right, this was a demo that, this was something I wanted to compile as a demo for you uh, to make. Um, it's a figure made of completely from manipulated spheres. The skull is even the skull that I made from manipulated spheres. Uh, but the truth is, it's a very complex model that I did here. Acorche is the right term. Acorche means flayed man. And that's the term that's used for three-dimensional anatomical models. It, it took me hours and hours to make this. So um, to make a demo for this particular thing would be better be broken up into parts over a longer, like a semester, basically. Um, if I were to do a demo for this, which I wish I had done, and maybe I'll do uh, before the week is over, I would simplify all the parts into more or less single spheres so that you could do uh, your drawing, like this drawing here from the Marvel, How to Draw the Marvel Way, uh, which is drawn by the artist John Buscema, where it's really kind of a simplified assembly of forms to make the figure. What I made here is something that's posable. I thought I would demonstrate that to you. So um, I press Control D to deselect, and then I can start clicking on. It's in symmetry mode. So I'm going to pose the legs at the same time. Um, You have to have a system of how you pose your figure. Uh, you have to figure that out. Oops. How come it's not letting me click on it? Okay. It's essentially mimicking a uh, action figure that has articulation. Those are those are pretty advanced in terms of uh, like if you go to the art store and you see those drawing mannequins, <laughs> those are pretty antiquated compared to what action figures have to offer. Um, back in the day, not too long ago. Uh, there was a toy store that was offering for sale uh, a pretty large action figure and it, they were on sale for five dollars and they're about the size of those drawing mannequins and it was articulated down to the fingers and that was really great uh, the only thing is the physique on it is like of a superhero so it's a little bit hard to translate that to a regular person but now you could get artist mannequins that are articulated the same way. If you go to eBay, you could find them. But this is really nothing more than that. So um, right now I've I've just selected the legs, and I'm going to go to rotate global, and I'll press enter so that I'm locking onto the legs. And I want to. This is where the hip would be, right, approximately. So I want to rotate it from that point right there. So that's probably pretty good. I could probably rotate the gluteal forms as well. Um, lock onto that. Rotate it probably up here from up here. That's not too bad. So next, if I wanted to uh, if I wanted to do the feet. Uh, we'll just do the feet, and then that's it for this demo for the most part. So I'm not going to, this is the ankle. I'm going to leave that there because that's part of the leg bone. That doesn't uh, move the way the feet do. These toes are even posable. 
So uh, that's also what I'm going to include is uh, I did one of the hands and the feet that are poseable. Um, the hand video was and the feet. I think they're like nine. Uh, what did I just do? Okay, I think there are nine videos for each, so maybe I won't. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's kind of excessive. Uh, I think for a final assignment. Um, but the, I'm grateful I did the hands and the feet. Um, I, they really are posable. I can reuse them in any way I want. So. I'll turn it at the ankle right here. So press enter to lock it. And then you can angle your feet. Probably do that. Um, so this this is a tendon right here. Uh, so I'm going to reposition that. I'm going to press enter to lock it and rotate it from here down to the foot. And I could do more, but I think that gives you an idea. That's a pretty, you know, that looks pretty good. So um, I'm going to export that. I'm going to show you what I can do next. Right now, it may not look like much to you. Um, but the next step, it might bring it into focus a little bit more. Um, I should have had uh, mesh mixer pulled up already. It takes it always takes a little longer to bring up mesh mixer. Meanwhile, I can pose a little bit more. Let me see. Um, you could uh, turn off the asymmetry on that. Control D, deselect. Um, I'm actually pretty proud of that forearm. There's a lot. Forearms are also the most complex part of the body, um, in my opinion, because you have one bone that twists over the other. And those, you can see those hands were uh, done in that method, and they're completely posable. So, um, I don't know what's deal, what's holding up mesh mixer. All right, so for this, uh, press enter to lock it, and your rotating point would probably be right about here. Uh, this is about where the uh, forearm meets the uh, the joint, forearm meets the uh, upper arm. So we're going to rotate that. And then we're going to change that position a little bit too. So um, enter. That muscle is going to be more contract uh, contracting. And it comes from this place right here. Um, I could have pulled this arm away a little bit more. This should also come from the same place. But... Um, that essentially is is that that didn't work out too bad. All right, so now let's see um, what we could do in mesh mixer. Mesh mixer has been giving me some problem. Um,
All right, so there's that figure. So what I go to is uh, make solid. Right there. And that's that's not too bad. Um, you can see how it, mesh, it, it merges the muscles together. It doesn't look like it's, it came from spheres anymore. Um, so that's not too bad. But I, I'll go to uh, this to dial it up just a little bit more to have a little more detail to work with. So I go to accurate and I, I come over 300 just a little bit and uh, press update. And just gives you a little bit more sharpness to work with. Um, it doesn't take much longer to, to do this. Except. Export. Label it solid. Okay. And uh, it, like I said, it took me hours, hours. I, I couldn't tell you how many hours you know it took me to do this, and not to intimidate you with the amount of time it would take to do it um, but what it is is uh, I'll be using this probably <laughs> over the next as long as I'm able to access these 3d modeling apps I'll be able to use this for years this model for years and um, modify it if I want to so I'll I was building it with the idea that I would get a lot of work from it. So what I did was I uploaded it into Sculptress with a sphere in place to keep things in symmetry mode so that this loads in as a symmetrical object. And so I'll go ahead and grab that, bring it to the center, um, delete that. Also, I click onto that, I'll press Control I, and then I'll delete that. Sometimes there's like floating particles inside that you can delete. So here's the model, now it's in symmetry mode. Uh, I'll go to smooth on the low setting, and what I want to do is get rid of all that harsh, those harsh lines that make it very clear that it was developed from Uh, something uh, geometric I guess you could say kind of, it's really kind of like placing a skin over it when you do this these I could have placed a little bit closer those forms didn't I didn't get that right but that's okay So yeah, I softened it up a bit. Um, So yeah, there you there you have it. Um, you can't really tell it. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think you can really tell it was made by a series of spheres. And having said that, the only 
tools I used to create this, aside from the skull, the skull was modeled after the spheres. I went into it and used all the other sculpture tools. But um, for the figure, the hands and the feet, the only tools I used in this app were uh, grab, scale, rotate. That's it. That's all I used. Um, so there was no. What, so what it comes down to is placing the spheres in the right place and manipulating the shape of it uh, through the scale tool or rotating it into place. And so I'm eliminating all the like essentially drawing skills. And what it comes down to is your not your knowledge of anatomy. But if you get enough references, you can kind of place things right. But you still have to know which muscles to go after. Uh, so that's when you would get an anatomy book out. And the artistic anatomy books give you a list of all the muscles in a certain order that you can fashion them. So you could do it on your own. Uh, it would take a lot of time. But it's, it's, it's the easiest way to learn anatomy, I might tell you, is uh, on digital sculpting app. So anyway, I just thought maybe you might have fun seeing this. Thanks.